Hello, everyone. I'm Hao Ran Yu, a fifth-year PhD student from Georgia Tech and the supervision of Professor Yingyang Sanlinli. Today, I'm very excited to present our work, Castling VIT, Compressing Self-Attention via Switching Towards Linear Angular Attention During Vision Transformer Inference. This work was done during my internship at Meta. I will give a quick review first before moving to the detailed presentation. In this work, we made two contributions. One is the proposed linear angular attention based on the developed angular kernels. We decompose such kernels into linear terms and high-order residues. The linear terms are cheap and will be kept, while the high-order residues are of high computational cost and will be approximated. Then our second contribution is to approximate high-order residues with two parameterized DNN modules, depth-wise conf in the V branch, and the auxiliary mask the softmax based attention, which is only enabled during training and will be dropped for inference. Experimental results show that our Castling VIT consistently achieve better accuracy efficiency trade-offs over vanilla softmax based VITs. This is a quick summary of this paper, and we'll dive into the full presentation. The general background of this project is the so-called VIT, vision transformers. Recently, VIT achieved SOTA performance on various vision tasks, such as image classification, object detection. It takes 2D image as the input, but split them as a sequence of uh, non-overlapping tokens like this, following language models. And here show the basic architecture of VITs, where the core block are two parts, multi-high self-attention and MLPs. The core self-attention is illustrated here. The embedded input tokens will be linearly projected to QKV3 vectors, namely query, key, and value. Each query will be multiplied with the all keys to get one row of attention map, resulting in attention maps with length of size equal to the number of tokens. The attention map will be further multiplied with the values to get the final output. However, powerful self-attention is one of the runtime bottleneck. This is because the self-attention have quadratic complexity with regard to the number of tokens when multiplying Q and K. The number of tokens is denoted by N, which could be much larger than a hidden dimension D. The previous solution to this issue is to build efficient linear attention. The core idea is to decompose the similarity measurement function, like softmax or exponential, into separate kernel embeddings, for example, phi q and phi k. This way, we can change the computation order among qkv. If we first calculate kv instead of qk, the quadratic complexity will become linear. However, those linear or local approximations suffer from large accuracy drops as compared to the vanilla softmax quadratic attention. That motivates us to think one research question. Can VITs learn both global and local context while being more efficient during inference? Next, I will elaborate our proposed castling VIT to answer this question. The first contribution is the linear angular attention which is built based on the angular kernels from a spectral perspective. The spectral angle between two vectors it is defined by the arc cosine equation and is visualized here in the 2D space. We design the angular kernel as a similarity measurement function between Q and K vectors. If they are aligned, then the angle, angle between them is zero and the similarity will be one. If they are opposite, then the angle will be pi and the similarity will be zero. In addition to the similarity measurement, this function is also decomposable for enabling linear attention. The implicit mapping function phi can map any vector on the, onto the sphere of radius one, and the distance between two vectors in the feature space after mapping is directly correlated to the angle. So the angular, angular kernel is ideal, but how can we make it efficient? We expand the arc cosine in the similarity function into polynomial format, where the linear term are called linear angular terms and will be kept. The other terms are called high order residues and will be approximated. This will, this will result in a linear attention, which we refer to as linear angular attention. 
Then the remaining question is how can we approximate the high order residues? Our second contribution answers that by leveraging two parameterized DNN modules. One is the learnable depth-wise convolution to capture a strong inductive bias in neighboring tokens. In other words, the local connections. Another one is the auxiliary softmax based attention to capture global similarities for non-adjacent tokens. The depth-wise convolution is inserted into the V branch in attention modules while the auxiliary masked attention is a parallel module attached to the linear angular attention. However, although this is a linear attention, we still use softmax-based quadratic attention, which is very costly. How can we make it efficient? As shown in this visualization, our observation is that non-zeros in the mask will converge to zero along with the training. That means the auxiliary, auxiliary softmax attention can be fully dropped during inference, which incurs no overhead. This concept resembles the castling move in chess when two pieces are moved at once. So we, so we named our model as castling VIT. We evaluate our method on three vision tasks and multiple VIT models. For each task, we benchmark against the SOTA model baselines listed here. As compared to SOTA baselines, our Castorin VIT achieves 1.8% higher accuracy or 40% max reductions on classification tasks and 2.2% higher mean average precession on detection tasks. As for the segmentation task, we achieve 0.5% higher mean LU and 15% max reductions. To summarize, in this work, we propose a framework called Castorin VIT which trains both quadratic and linear attention while switching to have only linear attention at inference. In, in the Castorin VIT framework, we develop a new linear angular attention leveraging angular kernel to close the accuracy gap with the softmax attention. Plus, we use two parameterized modules to approximate the high order residues in the linear angular attention to compensate the accuracy, uh, accuracy drop. We acknowledge the funding support from NSF RTML program and the COCOSIS, and also the Meta. Our project page is available um, in this uh, in this code. That's all for the presentation. Thank you.